Welcome back to our minute-to-minute -minute analysis of Matrix Reloaded. Last time, Neo met the father of the Matrix, the Architect. Today, we will delve into Neo's life and the purpose of the Matrix. What constitutes the lie of the simulation? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. After the architect introduces himself, the moment comes when Neo is told the answers. Concurrently, while your first question may be the most pertinent, you may or may not realize it is also the most irrelevant. Why am I here? We begin with the profound question related to humanity. Why are we here is the fundamental question of human existence. When humans evolved from animals to creators of civilization, when we no longer needed to survive but to socialize, doubts began to arise. Humans started to look up at the stars and question their place in the universe. Other primates spend their days surviving the cruelty of nature, but once humans overcame this, the question, why am I here, was the first that prompted our imaginations, giving rise to religions that tried to answer that question. For the architect, this is an irrelevant question, because the question, why are we here, is a sign that Neo does not yet understand his role. But it does not matter if he understands it or not. He is following down the path laid out by the architect. Listen to me, Neo. You can save Zion if you reach the source, but to do that you will need the Keymaker. The Keymaker? This question is what led Neo to Morpheus. It is an existential doubt that sums up the human experience. Why are we here may be an important question, but some people think that it does not make sense. Because if there is no objective purpose, asking what are we doing here is unnecessary. We are here because of a how, not a why. And that how is yet to be explained to Neo. Your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the Matrix. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. In other words, the architect is telling Neo that he is the result of an unbalanced equation. On the mini screens, we can see Neo's life from when he was a child. We previously made a video analyzing each screen. The architect conditioned all the situations that Neo went through since childhood to when the anomaly manifested in him. In our video analyzing each mini screen, we were unaware of the existence of the making of of this scene. The making of shows in better quality the scenes of Neo's youth with an explanation from the person in charge of filming them. The folly of an unreal life, a constructed life that he never led and the fact that every moment of his life was a construction of the architect or the machinery of the matrix and so he was demonstrating I suppose to Neo that it was all an elaborate fabrication. Interestingly, the video mentions that they are fabrications made by the architect. Although the architect speaks of cause and effect, he is the architect of Neo's life, so to speak. Watching these clips in better quality confirms what we originally thought. Neo was a lonely child who was bullied by other children. Perhaps these traumatic events in his youth led Mr. Anderson to become a shut-in, eventually finding an interest in computers. Every step that Neo took was foreordained by the architect. While it remains a burden assiduously avoided, it is not unexpected and thus not beyond a measure of control which has led you inexorably here. Here the architect is explaining that although the existence of this glitch in the matrix equation is an issue, he has created a system to keep it under control that includes controlling every aspect of Neo's development or growth and manipulating his personality. You haven't answered my question. Quite right. Interesting. That was quicker than the others. Neo is not satisfied with the architect's answer because he's only explained the how, but not the why. Neo is searching for meaning in all of this. The architect's acclamation of Neo's faster realization that his question was not yet answered has two purposes. The first is to let Neo know that there have been ones before him 
And the second is that the architect is noticing that there is something special about Neo, something that makes him different from his predecessors. The previous ones accepted what the architect told them, but Neo still wants more clarification, which somewhat surprised the architect. Others? How many? Others? What answer one? The Matrix is On the screens, we see the visual manifestations of Neo's thoughts and the choices that he could make. The architect can read Neo like an open book. There is no outcome that Neo can take that the architect hasn't already foreseen. This is predeterminism. Imagine that each one of those screens represents a choice Neo could take. The Matrix is older than you know. I prefer counting from the emergence of one integral anomaly to the emergence of the next, in which case this is the sixth version. Five. The architect is letting Neo and us as the viewers know that the real world isn't as old as Morpheus thought. You believe it's the year 1999, when in fact it's closer to 2199. I can't tell you exactly what year it is, because we honestly don't know. In maybe thousands of years into the future, the Matrix has simply been relatively stable for about 600 years. Six Matrix cycles. There are only two possible explanations. There were five ones before. Either no one told me, or no one knows. Precisely. Neo finally comes to a realization. The frame moves in closer to the TV that Neo has chosen. This thought means that he was never freed from the Matrix. Neo was always trapped. The architect can see everything that Neo thinks. At this moment, Neo might be wondering why didn't the Oracle tell him about any of this? That how does nobody in Zion know about his predecessors? It was all a trap, yet Neo still does not know the full length of this deception. That remains to be discovered. What happened to the ones before Neo? Next time, Neo must make a difficult decision. Also, we will be analyzing the predetermined beliefs of the architect. Tricks Explained. Please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.